I'm Heidi Hewitt here with Matt Murphy. We're talking about tool pallets. Now in 2004 we introduced tool pallets. In AutoCAD 2006 we introduced dynamic blocks. And can you describe how people might use dynamic block functionality and combine that with the power of tool pallets? Yeah, that's a good point, Heidi. You know, because dynamic blocks, we don't build them the same way, way that we made our legacy blocks. We don't use the W block command anymore. What we do is we build our dynamic blocks in one single drawing file. So the question then is, how do you get your dynamic blocks from that file onto a tool palette? Well, the technique is really easy. You simply open up Design Center, navigate to where the file is, and right click on the file. A little pop-up will come up and ask you to create a tool palette from all the blocks in that file. Once you choose that, AutoCAD automatically builds a brand new palette with all of the blocks in that file. So not only do you get the legacy blocks, you get the dynamic blocks too. And is there a way to distinguish between the dynamic blocks and the legacy blocks? Oh, that's real easy. Because once they're on the tool palette, the dynamic blocks have a little lightning bolt next to it, letting you know that they're dynamic. They're dynamic. Great. Great way to distinguish. All right. Thanks, Matt. Great tip.